Returning your safe and sound. You've our gratitude, Master. You see, lads? There was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our day count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarissa's her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I have one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankola. I'll be by. See you. Go, go. Oh, something with you? Was that truly necessary? And our knights, what are they? Chop liver? Ow. Mary had a little lamb whose face was. It's late, I know. Sorry to bother you. But I need to talk to the Duchess. It's no trouble. I had not yet laid my head to rest. As to her illustrious highness, I fear you will have to wait until the sun has risen again. 
Make yourself at home. Milton mentioned you'd been to Corvo Bianco to see the beast's victim. Learn anything new from the body? Well, since we have to wait anyway, steal yourself for a long story. And how is it we passed from your account of the investigation to reminiscing about the succubus? Because those were good times, and we were younger. Always nice to talk about that. Look, sun's up. And let's tarry no more. Our enlightened highness is sure to have arrived at the two in the grounds by now. Let us go. Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? Close, but not quite. As you will soon see. Someone's gonna fight a shale mar? Run some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down? Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Shouldn't torment the beast. How would you like to be dumped in an arena, blindfolded with a string of bells dangling from your ass? Pity a monster. You, a witcher. I slay monsters who are a threat to humans. You're out to humiliate one to entertain a crowd. No knight will gain any glory from this. Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love demands great sacrifices. Let's go. Dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait.
Defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the wittering trade. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed! suffered enough. The monster has slain! The fight is done! Christ be the victors! <laughs> Guillaume, the lads came damned close to dying. I'm... Fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. Geralt. We must talk. Vivian. You shall talk later, in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your Grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly... Uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance...